A long time ago, if you wanted to have three servers with three different operating systems, you'd actually need three physical boxes sitting in some server room. These days, however, you can have only one physical server running many different operating systems simultaneously, using a technology called virtualization. OK, so let's say that we've got two computers, Computer 1 and Computer 2. Both of these computers have different hardware inside them. That's also why they have a different shape in this schematic drawing. Now, let's install an operating system, so Windows, Linux, whatever, on Computer 1. When you install an operating system, during the installation process, the OS adjusts the settings and installs the appropriate drivers for this particular computer. So, after the installation, the OS has adapted to the hardware configuration that it was installed on. So, you could say it's now tied to the hardware config of Computer 1. Now, let's say we wanted to migrate the operating system to Computer 2 for some reason. We take out the hard drive, put it in Computer 2 and boot it up. Now, as you can see, that doesn't really fit. All of the settings in this operating system are still optimized for Computer 1, and all of the drivers for Computer 1's hardware are still installed. And since Computer 2 has different hardware, that just won't work very well. The only option would be to reconfigure all the settings and reinstall a lot of drivers and all that, making it kind of a pain to migrate an operating system from one computer to another. Now hold on, actually that was kind of a lie. There is another option. Virtualization. In a virtualization system, instead of installing an operating system first, you install a piece of software called a hypervisor. The hypervisor could in this case be seen as a very basic operating system. Just like an operating system, the hypervisor gets tied to the hardware when you install it. We install this hypervisor on both computers like that. Now we can install an operating system on top of the hypervisor like so. This way the operating system will never directly interact with the hardware and therefore not get tied to it. Instead it will adjust itself to the hypervisor. Since Computer 2 uses the same hypervisor, the operating system can easily be migrated to Computer 2 without any problems. So virtualization separates operating systems from the hardware, which enables them to migrate between computers very easily. Then there is something else virtualization can do. Normally, only one operating system can run at a time on one computer. You can have more OSs installed on your hard drive, but you can only boot up one of them at a time. Well, with virtualization, that's not the case. You can now easily run a lot of operating systems simultaneously on one single machine. So you could run a Linux, Windows and Mac all at the same time on one computer. Of course, you can also just run one type of operating system multiple times. And yes, that also means that you can hook up multiple mice and keyboards and have multiple people using these OSs as if they are separate computers. But most of the time, this type of virtualization is used in servers. This way, companies don't have to buy as many separate physical servers as they used to. There's also another type of virtualization. This is the so-called hosted virtualization. In this type of virtualization, an operating system is first installed on a physical computer, and then on top of that operating system, a hypervisor is installed, and this time in the form of a computer program. VirtualBox is one of the most frequently used hypervisors, and it can just be installed as a Windows program. That way you can run operating systems inside a window on your computer. The first type of virtualization we discussed is mostly used in servers, while the hosted virtualization is mostly used by people who, for example, might want to try out a new operating system without actually installing it on a physical machine. Well, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.